A drug which appears to slow Alzheimer's is being offered to more Victorians as part of a clinical trial. As medical reporter Emily Rice explains, some patients are resuming hobbies they had to give up years ago. Alzheimer's disease was diminishing Rosie Craven's memory, concentration and confidence. But since taking the experimental drug Anavex, the 61-year-old feels more like her old self. I just feel like I'm back to who I am. Her partner Dave has definitely noticed a difference. She gave up reading, which she used to love, and now she's starting to read again. She wasn't able to manage using her phone, which she's on her phone a lot now. Now more Australian patients with the incurable brain disease will be able to access Anavex. An ongoing clinical trial into the drug is being expanded with the support of national aged care provider Hammond Care. There's a great urgency to develop treatments that actually modify the course of the disease rather than just temporarily help symptoms. 72-year-old Alzheimer's sufferer Sandra Rosenick, who is cared for by daughter Dorinka, also appears to be benefiting. She lost the ability to write. She could write again. There were lots of things that just crept back in as quickly as she'd lost it, they came back. They're becoming motivated again. So people are going back to paint or they're going back to woodwork. A lot better. God, yes. The drug works by removing abnormal proteins thought to impact brain cell functioning in those with the memory robbing condition. It's just so exciting to be part of this trial and seeing what we're seeing with the patients. The medication is designed to help those in the early stages of the disease. Those wanting to find out more should contact the researchers at Hammond Care via email. We really want to make a shout out for Australians to actually try to get involved as soon as possible. I was happy that there was something they could do. Definitely. With any illness, you need hope. And um, this drug trial has certainly given us back that hope. Emily Rice, Nine News.